Welcome, folks. Today we're taking a close look at the ever-popular vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is essential for the growth and repair of all body tissues, and it aids in multiple bodily functions. Over time, numerous myths have surrounded this essential vitamin. Let's set the record straight on the top the most common myths. The goal of the Truth Index is to reflect the relative accuracy of a statement. The index has five ratings in decreasing level of truthfulness. True, mostly true, half true, mostly false, and false. Please refer to the description of video below for more details of each rating. Without further ado, let's dive into the myths. Vitamin C cures the common cold. Mostly false. Although vitamin C does fortify our immune system and might slightly reduce cold severity and duration, it's not a magic cure. As per a comprehensive analysis in the Cochrane Database Systematic Review 2013, vitamin C does not significantly reduce the risk of catching a cold, but might reduce its duration. More vitamin C translates to glowing skin. Half true, dermatologic surgery, 2005, highlighted that vitamin C promotes collagen synthesis, which is vital for skin elasticity and health. However, gobbling up enormous amounts won't give you instantaneous radiant skin. It's all about a balanced intake. Humans naturally produce vitamin C, mostly false. We lack the inherent capacity to produce vitamin C. This was underscored in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 1999. Thus, obtaining it from dietary sources is paramount. Vitamin C leads to kidney stones. Half true. Excessive intake can elevate the risk slightly. A study in JAMA, 2013, did find a connection between very high vitamin C supplementation and kidney stones, especially in men. However, the general consensus is that for individuals with healthy kidneys, moderate intake is not a concern. Every fruit and vegetable is a vitamin C goldmine. Mostly false, while many contain vitamin C, the concentration isn't consistent. USDA Food Data Central 2019 has emphasized that citrus fruits, bell peppers, and strawberries are among the top contenders in vitamin C content. Vitamin C is a mood and memory enhancer. Half true. Some studies, like the one published in Antioxidants 2014, have hinted at vitamin C's role in mood elevation, particularly in those with deficient levels. But when it comes to memory, more focused research is needed to establish any potential benefits. Vitamin C boosts iron absorption from all food varieties. Half true, it predominantly assists in the absorption of non-heme iron found in plant sources. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 2003, elaborated that while vitamin C can enhance non-heme iron absorption from foods, it doesn't have a similar effect on heme iron present in meats. Excess vitamin C is stored in the body for future use. Mostly false, vitamin C is water-soluble, which means the body takes what it needs and the rest is excreted. The Journal of Biological Chemistry, 2008, affirms that while the body does regulate absorption based on need, there's no storage system for excess. Vitamin C supplements are just as good as getting it from food. Half true. Although supplements can provide vitamin C, foods offer other beneficial compounds. The critical reviews in Food Science and Nutrition 2017 highlight that natural sources come with a mix of antioxidants, fiber, and other nutrients not present in standard supplements. The body absorbs all vitamin C consumed. Mostly false. Absorption rates decline as intake increases. According to the Linus Pauling Institute, 2018, when consumed in high amounts, less than 50% might be absorbed, with the rest excreted. Vitamin C serums are merely a cosmetic gimmick. Mostly false. Numerous dermatological studies, like the one from the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, 2001, 
have shown that topical vitamin C serums can protect the skin from UV damage and support collagen production. Vitamin C can lead to acidity and stomach problems. Half true. While it's an acid, normal dietary intake rarely causes issues. However, as the International Journal for Vitamin and Nutrition Research 2006 suggests, high-dose supplements might irritate the stomach in some people. Vitamin C's only role is as an antioxidant, mostly false, while its antioxidant properties discussed in the Free Radical Biology and Medicine 2011 are noteworthy. Vitamin C is also integral for collagen production, iron absorption, and the proper functioning of various bodily enzymes. Smokers don't need any more vitamin C than non-smokers. Mostly false, the stress and toxins from smoking deplete vitamin C faster in the body. As pointed out by the National Institutes of Health 2016, smokers may need 35 milligrams more vitamin C daily compared to non-smokers. Vitamin C causes weight loss. Half true. Vitamin C helps metabolize fat, but solely relying on it for weight loss isn't effective. A study in the Journal of Nutrition, 2007, did find a correlation between vitamin C and fat metabolism, but highlighted the importance of a balanced diet and exercise. Vitamin C is harmful during pregnancy. Mostly false, it's an essential nutrient even during pregnancy. However, according to the American Pregnancy Association, 2018, mega doses should be avoided. It's best to consult with healthcare professionals about the right dosage. Using vitamin C with other medications is safe. Half true. While generally safe, vitamin C can interact with certain medications, like anticoagulants. The British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, 2000, emphasizes consulting a doctor when taking vitamin C with other medications. Vitamin C can treat cancer. Mostly false. While research like that in the Journal of Cancer Research 2015 has explored its role in supporting chemotherapy, claiming vitamin C as a standalone treatment for cancer is not substantiated. Higher doses of vitamin C lead to better vision. Half true. It supports eye health, but isn't a vision enhancer. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition 2001 associated adequate vitamin C intake with a reduced risk of cataract formation. Vitamin C brightens teeth. Mostly false, vitamin C benefits gum health but isn't directly tied to tooth brightness. The Journal of Periodontology, 2013, advises against applying it directly to teeth as its acidity might erode enamel. Vitamin C increases risk of osteoporosis mostly false. In fact, a study in Osteoporosis International 2012 suggested that adequate vitamin C intake might have protective effects against bone mass loss in certain populations. There's no such thing as vitamin C toxicity. Half true. Being water-soluble, excess vitamin C is usually excreted. However, Extreme doses can lead to digestive issues and other side effects, as noted by Mayo Clinic Proceedings, 2019. Vitamin C is a natural antihistamine. Half true. Some studies, like one in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, 1992, have found that vitamin C might help reduce histamine levels in the body, but it's not a replacement for prescribed antihistamines. Vitamin C increases blood pressure. Mostly false. In contrast, some research, such as the study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 2012, suggests that it might help in modestly reducing blood pressure. Vitamin C has no role in heart health. Mostly false. Sufficient intake is associated with cardiovascular benefits. The British Medical Journal, 2017, showed that a higher intake might be linked to a reduced risk of heart disease. Only citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C, mostly false. While citrus fruits are excellent sources, many other fruits and veggies, 
like strawberries and bell peppers, contain high amounts of vitamin C. This diversity was emphasized in a study by the USDA Food Data Central, 2019. Vitamin C prevents hair loss. Half true. While it is essential for absorbing iron, a mineral vital for hair health, it's not a direct solution to hair loss. A review in the Dermatology Practical and Conceptual Journal, 2017, noted that while vitamin C deficiency might exacerbate hair problems, it's not the sole factor. Vitamin C only benefits aging skin, mostly false. While vitamin C is known for its anti-aging properties, as highlighted in the Dermatologic Surgery Journal, 2002, it's also beneficial for younger skin. It can help protect against UV damage, reduce inflammation, and aid in collagen production, suitable for all ages. More vitamin C means better skin results. Half true. While vitamin C is beneficial, there's a saturation point. The Journal of Investigative Dermatology, 2001, suggests that excessively high concentrations don't necessarily offer better results and may lead to irritation. Vitamin C serums are ineffective if they turn yellow. Half true. A color change might indicate oxidation potentially reducing its efficacy. The Aesthetic Surgery Journal, 2016, advises using fresh products for optimal benefits, but a slight color change doesn't always render it useless. Vitamin C can replace sunscreen, mostly false. Although vitamin C offers antioxidant protection against free radical damage, as supported by the Indian Dermatology Online Journal, 2013, it doesn't replace the UV-blocking properties of sunscreens. Vitamin C serums must be used in the morning. Half true. Many dermatologists, according to Dermatology Times 2019, recommend morning application to fight free radical damage throughout the day. However, it can also be used at night for its reparative benefits. You can't use vitamin C products around the eyes. Half true. The skin around the eyes is delicate. However, as per the American Academy of Dermatology, 2018, when used correctly and in the right formulations, vitamin C can help combat signs of aging in this area. Phew, that was a whirlwind of vitamin C knowledge. These myths remind us to approach popular claims with a critical mindset. Now that you're armed with the facts, which myths surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you've heard other vitamin C tales, share them. They might make it to our next video. Thank you for staying with us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more such myth-busting journeys. Knowledge is power, and you've just powered up.